Okay guys, um, I had a brain fart. I forgot to save after recording the last episode and as you guys can see, I'm having to resim all what we did in the last episode. So don't you worry, I've done almost everything accurately. All the signings have been made. It's just that we're gonna have to sim until January and we're gonna be in a different position. It's my fault guys, I apologize, but it should be interesting to see where we are. Congratulations. You played yourself. So here we are in the January window. That's how the squad's looking like. David Carrizo, the Argentinian regen we signed, is here. Gulaxi is here. Everything we did was, was completely created accurately. So don't you worry about that. The only difference is, instead of being second in the championship with third, well, good punishment, I guess, for, of course, forgetting to save. You had one job. Forgive me, guys, but I was recording at like 4 a.m. in the morning, so yeah, completely forgot about it. But regardless, that's the situation halfway through the season with Harrogate in the championship with third. And we're in the transfer window again where we could make signings, but with 365,000, well, that's a wage budget of roughly, yeah, 13,000, 14,000. Don't reckon we're going to be able to sign anyone. If so, it'd be a miracle. We'll see, though. That's how the team's looking like. Let's see if we can improve it, and then we'll decide what to do. Honestly, I wouldn't mind a free agent right back. Jesus Navas available in a free? Are you actually kidding me? Don't think we can go wrong with this, but the real question is, do we have the wage budget to make this happen? Our current right back is 66 rated. Surely getting Navas, even though he's 38, would be a big upgrade. I reckon by the time he, you know, retires, he'll still be higher rated than 66. For free, I think it's the, dub the only decent right back available that we can actually afford. I don't mind signing him. Right now, we need to focus on getting back to the Prem and to do that we need to try and get every quality player we can navas being one of them okay recommended wage 17500 this is going to be virtually impossible guys virtually impossible let's see though let's see we'll give him a two-year deal hopefully he accepts that let's go no release loss oh this is demands yo if we remove the appearance bonus i reckon we can squeeze this in it's worked guys we've somehow signed jesus navas with the, the and i don't even think we'll have any money left but that's fine this is going to be my final sign for the season surely our team is capable of getting to the premier league for the first time ever yo what a season we've had of transfers navas is just a cherry on top like honestly 80 rated as well i don't think we've gone wrong with this surely that's an upgrade over alho oh my days that is perfect absolutely perfect things you do love to see guys like honestly such a good pickup i'm liking the look of this team now boys i really am in the FA Cup, the draw has changed. I'm pretty sure we drew like a Premier League club in the last one. This time it's Blackburn, so that's a bit easier. We're going to use our first team and see this one out. I reckon we should still get through because the 85 rated players we've got. And Blake Bolton who ends up scoring. Not bad. Look at that. We've already drawn a Premier League club in, of course, the FA Cup. Okay. This is only the round four, but I think it's going to be a good test of our side against the big leagues, against the big teams. So we'll play this game. Why not? Not. FA Cup, us against Brighton, okay. I think I want to go with my strongest team and just see how things turn out. So we'll, we'll do that as well. Here goes Jack Diamond. See a bit of space. Ceballos looking for that pass for Ray Manard. Just been nothing but a goal machine for us. This team is more than good enough to compete with the teams in the Premier League. Like, we've got an 89-rated striker, an 85-rated keeper, and an 80-rated right-back. We've got the quality. Yet right now, it's Ray Menard's the man scoring the goal for us. You'll love to see it. Ceballos with the assist as well. Guys, Jack Diamond is a fighter. Like, honestly. What just happened here? Oh, my God. Like, what how did Gulaxi not save that? We signed him for a reason. I know we're paying him peanuts compared to what he could earn. But still, man, do your job. Make the saves. That's hilarious. How is how is Brighton managed to score off that shot? Like, what the hell? Have a look at this, guys. What? Well, all the effort and hard work that we put to get the lead, all gone. We start from zero. Here I was calling us a team equal to compete in the Prem and all that. Well, um, yeah, that, 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 was, that was a dodgy moment. Aziz. Oh, that's a nice pass for Jack Diamond. We need to see if he's got goals in him. He's going all the way here. So far, so good. But uh, too much. A little too much dribbling. Yo, in this second half, we can't let them get an early goal. Ugh, we just give away a silly free kick. Please, not a goal from a free kick, Galaxy. I know you can save this. They're going to try like a set piece routine. Yep, they are. Let's not let them score off this. Oh, thank God. Oh, that's a big chance. This time, Galaxy made the save. Relief.
Oh, I don't like this chance that we're giving them, but that's good stuff from Navas and Co to deal with that. And here's Aziz. That touch was so heavy. Oh, this is bad. Galaxy with a nice save. Oh, boy. You know, gotta give it to Galaxy. Trying a lot to make amends for that ridiculous no save as Danny Ceballos with a lovely turn looking for power. Now we could do something. Power cutting it back for Ray Menage. We still have a chance. Aziz goes for goal. That's one for the cameras for McGill. What a save. Things I would do for a goal from a set piece. Oh, I'm not letting me get that moment. I just hope this game doesn't go to a draw. I don't want to play a replay. So please, let's just not let it get to that, guys. Saying that, I don't want them scoring. Bernard is a fighter. I'm glad we signed him. He is so good at dealing with wingers, man. Top class player to have. As Ceballos looks for that pass, asking a bit too much of Raymond Arge there. I want to bring on somewhat of a cult hero for Raymond Arge, Armstrong. Last few seasons, remember, whenever we needed a goal, he was there. So I'm bringing him on for this. Oh, here we go. Look at this space. I think Brighton have gotten cocky. It's power. What a chance. Whips it across the Bolton. I can't believe he's missed that. Blake Bolton. How are you going to be a top class player if you can't score from there? That's the miss of the season. Diamond heading it for Lam as he looks for Navas. New signing. Can he do something here? It's a good cross. We try to win the header. It falls for Aziz. Difficult angle and he couldn't score that too. What's happening? Solid delivery from Aziz. As we win the header, I can't believe this keeper. He saved everything. As he's again, it's a good delivery play for Bolton, but we couldn't do much. We still have an Armstrong fighting. <sighs> Power gets taken out like that. I'm not a fan of it, but we're going to keep going here. Jesus Navas. A cross now would be nice. We know he's good at them crosses. What's happening here? We get a free kick in a good position. What? It's a free kick for them? Are you kidding me? What is this game even? Like Bolton, this is your chance to be a hero, man. Like, honestly, we need a performance from you now. Takes it back. Looks for power. This is nice. It's Miguel Aziz in a good spot. Opening up a bit of space, but there's literally no space to open up here. We're playing better than them. And we just... Oh. All I'll say is we could have won this game. Frustrating. We're probably going to just sim through the second game against uh, Brighton. We lost our chance to beat them. We're not ready for it, clearly. So we'll take our chances through this simulation. Let's see what we get in this one. Bernard suspended as well. <laughs> that makes that makes life even worse. Anyways, we're going to sim this game against Brighton. The second game against them. And there you go. We're out. We're out of the FA Cup. We honestly could have gone through, I'm feeling. We honestly could have. Deadline day. Honestly, though, don't have the money. Nothing to do. Just going to get through it and just focus on the league. Not going to lie, guys. This is not a good position to be in. Only the league left to play for. We're third. We're far off Brighton and Fulham. This is not good. We might have to go through playoffs again. That's, that'll be so chaotic, man. I, I'm not sure if I want to go through that again. <sighs> well, I guess we'll, we'll sim until the end of the season and see if we're in playoff positions again. <sighs> okay, let's do this. Pretty sure our last game in the championship this season is against Fulham. So if we're in a position where we need a win, our, I reckon we'll play that game instead if that gets us automatic promotion. So far, February, just the month we need. We need to keep this up. We're at the end of the season in the championship, almost. There's one game to play against Fulham, but will that even matter is the real question. Have we secured promotion straight to the Premier League is the real question gonna go all the way up to the top because i know we're in a playoff position i know that when the top three have we secured promotion to the premier league directly yes we have boys we're going up up the harrogate town we're going straight to the premier league we don't have to play the game against fulham that's kind of like a celebratory game because it's done we're gonna be in the premier league next season not by winning at the championship which is a bit of a shame fulham get that accolade and we get end up beaten by them but that's fine we're gonna be in the premier league next season finally boys let's go look at the stats of everyone involved i feel like blake bolton being 90 rated and having only 22 goals is a bit is, is a bit sus that's why i'm thinking next season we sell our golden goose blake bolton as much as i like him i do like the sound of about 200 million we can use that to improve every facet of our team big decision i need you guys to get involved in the comment section blake bolton do we sell him once we get to the Premier League to try and rebuild the squad completely. What do you think about 
about that, guys? What do you think about that? Let me know. Apart from that, it wasn't Blake Bolton finishing top scorer in the championship. It was Oxlade Chamberlain. Wow, okay. Um, Monard scoring 18 goals is not talked about enough. I didn't see the other stats as well. We'll take one final look before wrapping up the episode. Look at that, Ceballos. What a signing. Let's go. With that, that's the end of the episode. Next time I see you, Harrogate Town, gonna be in the Premier League. Let me know what you think about Bolton. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.